water a day. I thought that was really high until I looked at the EPA's figures. They say 100 gallons a day per person. Now 30% of that is used outside, but indoors, the biggest use, it's the bathroom. Now shower heads, they pump out five to seven gallons a minute, unless you install a low flow shower head like mine. Plus I use a timer to help me keep my showers under five minutes. And when I wash my hair, I turn the shower off. This is a family show after all. <laughs> now, how about toilets? Nearly 27% of all indoor water is flushed down the toilet. So until you install a low flow model, do what I do. I practice minimal flushing during the day, and I know you know what that means. Plus, I've already installed water-filled bottles in both of my tanks to help reduce each flush. Now find and fix all leaks. It's about 14% of all water usage. A leaky toilet, it alone can drain 90,000 gallons of water in a month's time. Amazing. Now low flow aerators on your sink tap, those are great. But if you haven't installed them yet, here's what you can do. Just restrict the flow right here under the sink valve. There we go, that's better. So fill the sink to rinse your razors but turn off the water when you go to brush your teeth. Those two things alone will save you thousands of gallons of water every month. Now the next step, off to the laundry room. Conventional washing machines use up to 55 gallons of water per load, so wash only full loads whenever possible. And as soon as possible, install a high efficiency model. You know, kind of like this one. It uses about half as much water. When I do delicate hand wash, I reuse the water for a couple of batches. Going light to dark clothes, I can save some water there. Hey, and remember, you can scoop up some of this soapy water and use it on plants instead of using toxins to control you know, bug infestations. So let's go up to the kitchen next. Just like with my washing machine, I wash only full loads with my dishwasher. And I don't pre-rinse my dishes. Although sometimes I do, because it's hard to break an old habit. But all my research says, you just scrape it into a dish. I put mine into my compost. Put it on into to the dishwasher, and that's good to go. Now, if you have some burnt on foods, soak it overnight. That should do the trick. And I still wash some dishes by hand. You know, some things are a little too delicate to put into the dishwasher. Do you know how much water is wasted by the folks who do the one dish under running water technique to do their dishes. Do you? I know a lot of people who do dishes that way. Well, just take three gallons per minute times the number of minutes to wash and rinse times the number of times you do that a day times 365 days in a year. And what do you get? Gobs of wasted water every year. I don't know why anybody would do that. Jeez. Hey, now I wash my fruits and vegetables in a dish instead of letting the water run down the drain. And when I'm done with that, I pour the water into this pink container for outside. I can put those on plants. And if I ever need any hot water from the tap, well, here's all I do. I just run it into this container so that I, I catch the cool water as it's flushing through the pipes. There we go. And I use this water for indoor plants. Now, here's the other thing I do. You know, after I've boil potatoes or pastas, you know, I let this water cool down and then I pour it into this pink container too because I can use that outdoors as well. Here, let me show you what I do with it. Come on with me. It's great on these bushes that were planted last fall. It will help them take root. Now, across the country, almost 50% of water is used on landscaping and on lawns. I let mine go brown in the summer. It's going to turn green again this fall. And besides, I want to eliminate most of it because I'm going to start gardening more. Most everybody overwaters their lawn and their plants. So learn what your plants need during every month of the year. It changes. Also, it's better if you water your lawn more deeply a couple times a week than just a little bit every day. And remember, if you water during the heat of the day, like now, well, that can cause 30% water evaporation. So don't do it. Just wait until the evening, or better yet, in the morning when it's really nice and cool. 
Now, one of my pet peeves, it's when I see people using water hoses to wash debris off their sidewalks and the driveway. It drives me nuts. At 10 gallons a minute coming out of this hose, it is one sure way to make water disappear fast. It's magic. I'm Jean Bauman, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today. Oh, hold it. I haven't even talked about what you can do with water catchment systems, or with gray water, or what you can do to help your irrigation systems. They waste a ton of water. I'm an everyday gal, making my everyday choices count. And you can too. So I hope you come back another time. See you later.